I, I think we've um, discussed some enormous issues that um, with groups of people that aren't normally brought together to discuss those issues. So, for instance, climate change and the impact of climate change on health with politicians there, with business there. We've had uh, imp a lot of uh, input um, and, uh, and discussion around the role of the pharmaceutical industry and how that the pharmaceutical industry needs to change because everything else is changing and if the pharmaceutical industry stays the way it is, then it won't be contributing to health as much as it should. So uh, I think the outcomes have that people have understood the enormous changes that are happening in health, the fact that health consumes 10% of the world's GDP. The finance minister is really a health minister because if he doesn't, if you don't get health right, you don't get finances right, and if you don't get health right, you don't get um, human rights um, right. So uh, I think that's the message that we've got out of this meeting. And I think by bringing those people from uh, organisations like Gavi and the World Fund, etc., together and to hear those issues, I think we're we're having a significant impact. So the, the really what we see it as doing is bringing together. Um, the health scientists, the public health scientists, bioscientists, industry and politicians to really look at the big strategic issues and understanding how we can impact on those. Um, as an example, the, both last year and this year we looked at some significant issues around how health is delivered in Africa, how it's funded and I think those sorts of issues will be continued to, to be um, high on the agenda next year. In particular I think the um, the importance that infectious diseases are still uh, a ravage in Africa, but non-communicable diseases like cancer, like diabetes, like obesity are really becoming so important. How do we do all of that? Um, I think that will be a major theme for next year.